In this video, we'll do an example where we'll calculate the molar solubility of an AB2 type compound given its KSP. We're asked to find the molar solubility of manganese 2 hydroxide, MnOH2, at 25 degrees. Its KSP at 25 degrees is given as 2.1 times 10 to the negative 13th. The first step is to write the balanced equation for the solubility equilibrium of MnOH2. MnOH2 forms Mn2 plus and 2OH minus. Note that this compound dissociates into one Mn2 plus ion and two OH minus ions, so it is an AB2 type compound. Here, we'll write the KSP expression for this reaction. KSP equals the concentration of Mn2 plus times the concentration of OH minus squared. Now, we'll let the molar solubility of MnOH2 be represented as S. The mole ratio of Mn2 plus to the compound MnOH2 is 1 to 1, so the concentration of Mn2 plus will be equal to S. The mole ratio of OH minus to the compound MnOH2 is 2 to 1, so the concentration of OH minus will be equal to 2S. Now we'll determine the value of the molar solubility S. We'll start by writing the KSP expression here. The concentration of Mn2 plus is equal to S, so we'll substitute S in for the concentration of Mn2 plus, like this. Now the concentration of OH minus is equal to 2S, so we can substitute 2S for the concentration of OH minus in the KSP expression, like this. Note that the concentration of OH- is still squared in the KSP expression. So KSP is equal to S times 2S all squared. We know from math that AB all squared is equal to A squared times B squared. So 2S all squared is equal to 2 squared times S squared. 2 squared equals 4. So 2 squared times s squared is equal to 4 times s squared, or 4s squared. s times s squared is equal to s cubed, so s times 4s squared is equal to 4s cubed, so KSP is equal to 4s cubed. It's good to note here that KSP is equal to 4s cubed for all AB2 type compounds. Now we'll proceed to solve for the molar solubility S. We'll start by solving for S cubed. To do this, we divide both sides of the equation by 4. So we get S cubed equals KSP over 4. Our next step is to solve for S. To do this, we take the cube root of both sides of the equation. This gives us S equals the cube root of KSP over 4. Make note here that the 4 is within the cube root sign. S is the cube root of the whole fraction, KSP over 4. In the next step, we substitute the given KSP value in here for KSP. It is 2.1 times 10 to the negative 13th. So we write 2.1 times 10 to the negative 13th here in for the KSP. So S is the cube root of the whole fraction 2.1 times 10 to the negative 13th over 4. With some calculators, you can do this calculation all in one step, but here we'll do it step by step. So we divide 2.1 times 10 to the negative 13th by 4. 2.1 times 10 to the negative 13th divided by 4 is equal to 5.25 times 10 to the negative 14th. So S is the cube root of 5.25 times 10 to the negative 14th. When we take the cube root of 5.25 times 10 to the negative 14th, we get S is equal to 3.74 times 10 to the negative 5th. Because S is molar concentration, we have to include the concentration unit molar here. And because the original KSP that we were given had two significant figures, 
we need to round our answer to two significant figures also. So the final answer is the molar solubility of MnOH2 is 3.7 times 10 to the negative fifth molar. And we'll state that right here. The molar solubility of MnOH2 at 25 degrees is equal to 3.7 times 10 to the negative fifth molar.